Namaste. I am in conversation with uh, Dr. Radha Vagle. She is the Joint Secretary uh, of the Ministry of Forest and Environment. She is also the Chief of the Climate Change Management Division. More importantly, she's been a very passionate advocate of gender equality and women's rights in environment issues. Dr. Vagle, last year we concluded the COP26. And again, uh, there was a very strong representation from the government of Nepal. So could you tell us a little bit about the priorities that the government of Nepal reiterated at the COP26 and what have been some of the follow-up actions from that uh, dialogue? For us, we have made some commitments uh, to achieve net zero emissions as well. We have also submitted our nationally determined contribution. And I, I would like to reiterate here that nationally determined contribution is all about um, uh, mitigation and adaptations too. You raised uh, so many important issues in terms of, uh, again, the criticality of uh, you know, integrating gender in climate change frameworks. And it is so uh, uh, important that the government of Nepal has recognized that so strongly. You also uh, raised the point, which again, I think uh, is so important uh, in terms of intersectionality and social inclusion. So which groups and how is it that climate change is impacting them needs to be understood. You spoke about indigenous populations, women within indigenous communities. Um, in terms of the current policies and uh, the frameworks that are there in Nepal, could you share with us a few examples of how Jesse has been uh, integrated in there? Uh, uh, for, I think I need to start with our constitution because our constitution is very inclusive and it has addressed the issues of marginalization. And Ministry of Forest and Environment, one of the uh, leading um, uh, ministry uh, who has the gender and social inclusion strategy that was uh, in 2008, we have formulated our first the GC strategy. I think that is the first strategy, sectoral gender strategy in the history of Nepal. Dr. Bagley, in the context of Nepal, again, there are so many different kinds of issues that one can talk about. Uh, perhaps something that, uh, you know, in the current context is very important is also to recognize that in a strange way, we seem to be at, at a crossroads because we have been talking about the impact of climate change. And now I think in the context of COVID-19, uh, some of the issues that one has always spoken about, they have become even more yes. acute. Uh, one is now, you know, recognizing that there is such a strong care deficit in our in our economies, and it is women's labor which uh, actually is contributing to maintaining, uh, you know, the, the care economy. In the context of climate change, what, from your perspective, are the most critical? issues so we spoke about care um, anything else that you know really um, sort of uh, you know climate, climate change has impact on each and every sector right. and we know that Nepalese women have a uh, different assigned role from long uh, in the history uh, they have different type of traditional role and which is directly linked to the natural resource, uh, resource or uh, agriculture or water resource management or uh, forest management, all those areas. And any changes in uh, so, uh, such resources and any changes uh, in such um, interventions uh, has direct implication on women. I think that is that is making their life more difficult. We are. Uh, well equipped by policies, program, uh, policies, and all the uh, commitments we made in uh, international forum and national um, priorities. But now it is the time for acting, time for implementation, implementing and translating those policies into practice. Uh, just looking at, given how complex this issue is and how challenging uh, this, this issue is, um, building on COP26, what would be the priorities, Dr. Magli, uh, for the government of Nepal going forward? And once again, if you could maybe share with us some of the Jesse specific priorities. One of the commitment we made in uh, COP26, that is Nepal government is committed to uh, reduce the vulnerability and risk of marginalized uh, group by 2030. That is our a strong commitment in uh, we made in COP26. 
to address that uh, that commitment we really we, we need to do for uh, from JC perspective we try we need in our priority we need to roll out our gender and social uh, gender and social inclusion and climate change strategy and action plan so I think uh, you wrapped it up so well in terms of uh, no conversation or no uh, action on climate change uh, will be effective unless and until we prioritize gender equality. And I think that's really the spirit of Agenda 2030 uh, and it recognizes the centrality and criticality of gender equality. So Dr. Wagley, thank you so much for joining us for this conversation today and thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you so much, Namita. And I, it was really a pleasure to uh, talk about climate change and gender. Thank you so much.